Hi everybody. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks to me like there could have been something that you had been worrying about to the point where it could have been getting in the way of like your routine things that you normally do something that you felt very preoccupied by and it seems like it came from a place of maybe not trusting that everything would be okay something going on where um by taking a step back it may have bolstered your faith or maybe there was something you saw where you were like you know what the universe has got my back Spirit's got my back within this situation. It's not something that I need to be losing sleep over any longer. It seems like this was even <sighs> a test of trust. It could be, could have felt like. Something that you want. I'm looking at the nine of cups here. You could have also been unsure about the way that something would go and being like, you know what, if I want this to happen, I need to take matters into my own hands kind of rather than trusting even the universal process of what was unfolding. Finding it within you to find a sense of calm, a sense of peace about what this is that's happening. I'm seeing it be a situation where because you know, because you recognize that there is something that you want, I'm hearing the word dearly, because you recognize that there is something that you want, there's a sense also of needing to find it within yourself to, to be level-headed about what the outcome of this ends up being. Being in a space of gratitude rather than entitlement even because sometimes as well the universe has different plans for us than we initially anticipate and sometimes we don't understand why but something else something else that's meant for us is going to happen and then also there are times where we also get what we want but it seems like regardless of what the outcome of this is it's like your guides are recognizing yes we understand we hear you we know that this is something you want and your work it seems like now and it seems like this is also matters of the heart with all of the cups here something energetically that you're connecting with so your guides are like hey i understand what's going on with you i'm hearing you what it is that you want right here your work within this situation is to be okay with whatever outcome this is that unfolds for you because the king of cups is being in a space where no matter what's going on we we are working with it we are remaining level emotionally it's going to be the same thing whether you get it or whether you don't get it being in that space of calm centered energy and when you don't feel like you're in that space to work to transmute the energy until you find yourself there with temperance as well this is about it's about riding the wave it's about adjusting it's about transmuting energy it's about being patient too also to work with yourself as well on the emotional front being open to the emotional experience and also mastering it as well seems like this is connected with a new path that you are taking i'm seeing something that's starting very very slowly You're going to want to take your time with this. Yeah, so much water. What it looks like to me is that even subconsciously, 
and this could have been what led you here there is something that you are connecting with there is something that you want there is something that this doesn't seem like a one-way street this seems like something that you want is wanting you back in some capacity in a way where there's a a, a roadway that is being carved out for you a path for you to be taking the more grounded you are the more level-headed you are the more patient you are only taking steps when you recognize what step that is to take so this isn't like i want to run at 100 miles per hour down this thing so i'm just gonna run this is about checking in with yourself like checking in with your guidance and being like are we are we like this next step is it left right is it forward is it back is it a side step what are we doing here are we pivoting and checking in with yourself because it's not about like getting there as quickly as possible i'm seeing this really be about like patience how you're working with yourself you above all staying in a place where you feel grounded emotionally and i am seeing you get connected i'm looking at both the king and the queen of cups here i'm seeing you get connected with something that you feel is very compatible with you for some of you this can be a relationship it can be a project it can just be a direction that you're going in where you're not really sure what you're going to meet upon the path but you know you're going somewhere It feels like you've been called. In a way that hasn't totally, completely, and absolutely be revealed to you, at least on a conscious level. Looking at the moon here. Yeah, as I said before, this thing that you want, for some of you, this may not be this may not be something that you're consciously connecting with. This may be something going on kind of subconsciously. It can be even more more something going on directly that you may not be completely aware of but it's something within you that is kind of a guiding force for you right now i'm seeing this be something within a very very deep part of yourself that is guiding you on this path that you are on even if you're not fully totally and completely aware of this at times I'm seeing this be like at the very, very center of you. This guiding force that you're being led by. One that ultimately is here to deliver a sense of balance for you. Your path, what it is that you're doing, what you're pursuing, what you're involving yourself in. For some of you, this is also about moving towards energetically, emotionally even, um, th the things that call to you, the things that spark up something within you, the things that pull, the things that draw. It's even like connecting with something outside of yourself or feeling like something energetically has called to and connected with certain points within you that you feel moved by whatever this is that you're connecting with. Doesn't have to be one thing, can be multiple things. And it seems like 
behind the scenes like you kind of see what's happening maybe physically as far as what's playing out but energetically even like within the astral realm what's going on is you being led to fulfill something dharmically for yourself because of being able to feel this and know it so clearly where it is that you're being called and really paying attention because with temperance I'm seeing this be like listening to where you're being called what is speaking to you moving in the direction of what you want when it comes to when it comes to conversations that you don't want to be having or things that you don't want to be talking about to kind of like move away from those things as well because you're choosing energetically what you're engaging in as well so when it comes to what it is that you want and what it is that you want to connect with dismissing the things that you don't want and moving closer and closer towards what it is that you do want and allowing that to lead you feeling like energetically emotionally you're connected with this path that you are walking down and behind the scenes I'm seeing this be about reciprocity it's about you feeling very much I'm seeing this be reciprocity when it comes to what this is that you're doing for some of you you may see this most closely related to say your career I'm seeing this be more about purpose than it is about making money although money can absolutely be tied in with this it feels like this is about purpose for you Like, what is it in your nature, the path that you are meant to be following right now? What did you come here to do? What are you connecting with? What is this thing that you can find yourself doing and being? It seems, again, purpose-related. What is this thing specifically for you that when you are participating in it, you feel like, this is my purpose. This is why I'm here. This is what I'm meant to be doing. This is the path that I'm meant to be following. And every time that I connect with this, I feel like I get as much in return as I'm giving and it feels balanced to me because of that. That sense of equality, that sense of reciprocity. For some of you as well, this could have also been a challenge too because money-wise, this could have been a little bit of a risk for you. Like, I don't know how much money I'm going to make if I jump to do this thing that I love or this thing that's really attracting me. Um, however, I feel like I'm being called in this direction. So are we going to put like the 3D and money aside to follow something that you feel passionately about? Or is money going to overrule that for you? Is a sense of security going to overrule that for you? Do you feel like that's going to... If you make a decision from that space of prioritizing money, is that you sabotaging, you getting connected with something that you really do feel you're meant to be doing out of a sense of fear, fear of the unknown. For some of you, I'm seeing this be a moment where you recognize that something is something is coming into focus for you within your field of vision and you're in a space where you can take a risk you can take a chance on doing this thing and actually finding something that you feel is absolutely what you have been like meant to be doing feel very very connected with this in a big way or you can make a decision to stick and stay with what it is that you've been doing by like playing it safe even though you feel this sense of I don't even know, feeling like something is incomplete, feeling like there's a lacking, feeling unsatiated. Do you trust yourself enough to 
move where you feel you're being called and to pursue that, to answer the call. What I see as well is that this is not something so obvious. You're not being like handed directly an instruction manual about like do this here and at 12 o'clock you go over there. This is something more subtly that's playing out for you where the more in touch you are with your rhythm, the more you are going to be able to understand how it speaks to you and how it directs you as well. how your guides are communicating with you and guiding you. And all of us have different ways to, there's no A, B, and C about this. Some people's guides communicate with them through dreams, through technology. It can be synchronicities that you're seeing. It can be other things. It can be a mix of things. It all just depends on the person, what they're receptive to, and um, like how how your guides feel you are going to most effectively be able to comprehend what it is that's being communicated with you. And the more you're playing off what you're picking up on energetically, what you're picking up on emotionally, the more clarity it's going to give you as to what this is that's calling you. For a lot of you, I am seeing this be related to career. But as I said before, I'm not seeing the priority be about money. That may absolutely be something that's connected with. Um, but for some of you, it could be, say, volunteering where you're not getting money. It's like not about necessarily the resources. However, that is something that naturally may be included within this. But there's more of a, a prominence, there's more of a focus here on the actual thing that you're doing. Of you feeling connected with your purpose regardless of anything else that comes along with it. Even though many other things may be attached to it. I will say this as well, that's not to say that you won't feel a sense of fear or like this feels scary or I don't really know about this. What it is to say is that regardless of what you're feeling, if you believe that something is right for you and you trust yourself and you trust the information that you're getting enough to take a leap of faith, it's about experiencing the experience that you're having and still going through with what this is that you want to be doing. It's not about not feeling scared or not feeling intimidated or not feeling those things that may feel very uncomfortable to feel. It's about persisting, working with yourself through that. Because those things are always going to be a part of it. Emotions and thoughts and all of that, it's part of the human condition. It's not something that's going to magically disappear. However, when we get to a space where we recognize that doesn't need to define my actions and what I'm doing and I don't need to internalize it, it doesn't need to define me either. It allows you to separate yourself enough to observe it and still do what you want to do. Connect with yourself back behind all of that. I'm seeing somebody feeling like this is the most, in a way, grounded and level-headed aspiration that they've had that they plan to pursue, even though maybe to other people this may, this may seem very strange or they may not understand, things like that. I'm seeing this person be, like, so centered 
and so like sure within themselves that like I know without a doubt this is what I'm connecting with I know that I'm grounded I know that this makes sense I know that I'm connected here and I know this thing is pulling me I know this thing is calling me that there's a lack of um, like seeking that external validation there's such a strong sense of one feeling validated within themselves within their connection with themselves that they know this is right for them and so they won't be deterred because they are like truly and fully connecting with this because they know you are going to get more and more information about this because you're not being handed like a manual and it being like you go here you do this all of that stuff this is something that is going to take time. There are going to be changes that come. You may be led in one direction and be like, I don't understand why I'm being led here, but I'm just going to go along with it anyway. Meanwhile, that ends up being a stepping stone for you. And it was like a pivot place that you needed to get somewhere else, but you had to like take that extension to go in the other direction you needed to go in. So this is about following where you are being guided and like even following your intuition before it makes sense because I'm seeing like you're going to be getting more and more clarity about like this purpose related thing that you're doing this is connected with like legacy purpose dharmic path whatever it is that you want to label this as it's very much like what you came here to be fulfilling exploring all of that stuff and you're going to get more and more clarity on this the more steps you take, but you're not going to be given all of the information all at once. Especially because our brains, for the most part, especially when you're getting connected with this, is still very attached to linear thinking. And so even if you were being given all of it which like all of it technically is accessible to you it just depends on how ready you are for it you are not going to be given everything all at once only because like how would one even comprehend it if their brain is still working like within a linear pattern right so as you take the steps more and more is going to be elucidated for you but it's something that's going to take time and that is also something to be recognized too this is something that is going to be um, a constant unfolding, we can call it, of you receiving information, of you processing, of you figuring out, I do this with that, being given just as much information as you need so as to step, to take the next step. And to also know too that as much as you try to even guess like hey it's gonna lead me here it's gonna lead me there you're in a in a space where what you're working with is the batter right now eventually it's gonna look like a cupcake but it does not look like a cupcake right now it looks like batter So things are in the process of unfolding and they have not taken shape yet, not completely. And that's why choice is necessary. That's why it's necessary for you to prioritize and to be paying attention to like which step you're making here and understand how it's all connected. Feeling like the choices that you are making are like in harmony with the, the larger purpose, the larger conversation being had. The broader conversation. I'm hearing and the underlying notes. I'm hearing decode. So as you make these choices, as things kind of come to you, as they're presented to you, I'm seeing it constantly, constantly, constantly leading you into a space where you feel that sense of fulfillment, you feel that sense of satisfaction. 
I'm seeing it be like this. Even though you haven't like even gotten to the cupcake yet, even though you're still working with the batter right now, even though you are still in the process of all of this, it feels so much more satisfying and fulfilling to you than even being at the end goal of where you are before when it came to what it was that you were doing. So whatever like job or whatever this thing that you were doing before where you were like, I just feel like something isn't right or like something is missing or that like I'm meant to be doing more, that like there's more of a purpose for me and that I'm not fulfilling that. Before I'm seeing that kind of be the description of like where you had been falling in, what you had been feeling. And now it's like you don't even know like where exactly we're going yet. Like we don't know what the end result of this looks like, but the process is so thrilling that you're already feeling stuff that you hadn't been able to access before. And that is also something that is going to reinforce this for you because of like emotionally, energetically what you're getting from this, what you're feeling from it. Rather than feeling maybe apathetic the way that you had been before, in bits and pieces is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing there also be happiness within um, within all of the collaborations that you're having, within the people that you are working with, the different aspects of yourself that you're working with, too. Feeling like you are working with and touching, accessing pieces, parts of yourself that had been dormant before, feeling dormant. I'm seeing somebody that... It's like the, the body full full of light bulbs in different places and before like many of them had not been turned on and now I'm just seeing like this whole brightness within a body where things are like connecting electrically there's movement things physically feeling like they are activated feeling feeling activated so when this comes to this wish fulfillment for you what this thing is that you want what this is that is like drawing you what this is that's calling you even at times if you're not like fully cognizant of this absolutely and this can be multiple things too the things that are driving you i'm seeing that like not all of this has been revealed to you yet there's still a lot that is being determined there's still a lot that's going on there's still a lot that is not completely illuminated. This is going to take time. This is going to take patience. This is going to take grounding. And this is going to take you being in a space where you are focusing on equal exchange, where you are focusing on bringing 100% of you to everything that you are doing and maneuvering and finding yourself within situations where you are asking yourself, when I do this, regardless of what I get in return, do I feel good about doing this? If I got one penny for this versus a million dollars, would I be doing this? If you take that off the table completely, would you be doing these things? Is it something that speaks to you? Is it something that calls to you? Or would you be doing something else? If compensation in that way were off the table... If you got paid the same amount, if you got the same resources, no matter what it was that you were doing, what would you be doing right now? And asking yourself that in every single question, every conversation that you have, everything that you decide to do, do you really need to be doing that? And do you feel good about doing that? Is that something you want to do? Is that something you don't want to do? Do you feel like that is the type of exchange that you want to be having where you like what's going on there where you enjoy the type of exchange that you are participating in that you are choosing to participate in actively 
And I'm seeing this be like, even within your personal life, not just within like your career and stuff, even when it comes to the smallest decisions that you're making, it's going through and asking yourself, do I feel like this is fair? Do I feel like this is balanced? Do I feel like I'm getting what I need from this? Or is this a situation where like I'm giving too much or I'm not giving enough or like somebody's doing that and so I feel like I have to pick up the pieces but then I feel resentful of that. I feel like it's weighing on me and recognizing, hey, I'm the one putting that responsibility on myself. If I'm going to do it and feel resentful while I'm doing it, is that maybe a, a situation where I can set a boundary, where I can place a boundary? Asking ourselves what we're volunteering ourselves for. And working through this patiently because I'm seeing like this is going to build up to something much, much bigger for you. And for right now, this may start in a, a much smaller space for you and be something that something that transcends that into something much bigger connected with your ultimate purpose. Even if it's just baby steps right now. Because they count too. And they are going to be the foundation that you are laying out right now. And I'm seeing that this is going to, as you move through this, get you more and more connected with your sense of purpose. Feeling like you are in alignment with all of the actions that you are taking. To have the focus on the Mars energy with the Emperor, this is about your legacy. It's about you feeling like there is like purpose and, and strategy and there is like consciousness with everything that you are doing, with every decision that you're making, with every way that you take action. And I'm seeing like once there's this realization, like, hey, this is what I'm meant to be doing. And that doesn't mean you realize in a moment, this is what I'm meant to be doing. It doesn't mean that it can't change tomorrow. This is about, this is about you being in a space where what you are what you are honoring is truth rather than consistency who are you within a moment what you feel like you're meant to be doing and it's like the more that you realize this the more that you understand this it doesn't mean that it can't change in a moment it just means that within every moment you are finding yourself and being true to that and not staying within things that you don't feel like are you anymore even if it was you a moment ago even if it was you yesterday it's about moving with the flow, becoming the flow of all of this and allowing that to lead you towards what you feel passionately connected with, what moves you, what calls you, what you want to be doing and the things that fall in line with that, the responsibility that comes with it and more importantly, the satisfaction that comes with you being in a space where you truly feel you are connected with and living out your purpose in every moment. I'm seeing this be the synthesis of the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Feeling that sense of emotional connection with what this is that you are doing within the 3D, combining the two of the two of these. It's like your, your North Node and your MC connecting with your Moon energy, your Water energy. And the more you synthesize these two together, the more you're understanding how they work together with one another and also balancing this yin and yang aspect of you what's going on physically for you and also what's going on energetically emotionally for you feeling like you are honoring all of these different aspects of yourself rather than like negating one to emphasize the other it's about integration beautiful all right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love, enlightened healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.